sheet as per usual. I was halfway through editing it and realized I messed up on everything, so I had to reshoot the whole thing. It is my TBR pile of shame. I have way too many books that I own that are unread. Way too many. Not very many of them are manga or graphic novels. In fact, I have zero graphic novels unread and only two manga. It's a little sad. I saw Whitney do this from Witty Novels, so I will link her video down in the doobly-doo, and I'd seen it before, where basically you go through all your unread books and share with the world just how many are unread. I have 95 books unread. I think I'm showing all of them to you, so let's get started. Let's kick things off with the manga I haven't read. First, I'm in the middle of it, is Pokemon Volume 5 by Hidenori, Kusaka, and Mori and Yu-Gi-Oh! Volume 16 by Kazuki Takahashi. Moving into the books, which is the brunt of all this, I have not read Little Women by Louisa May Alcott, A Treasury of Hans Christian Andersen by Jane Austen, every one of her books that I own, Sense and Sensibility, Mansfield Park, Emma, Northanger Abbey, and Persuasion, The Wonderful Wizard of Oz by L. Frank Baum, and the Gemma Doyle Trilogy by Libba Bray, A Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and The Sweet Far Thing, The High King's Tomb by Kristen Britton, book three of its series, and I've only read book one, A Little Princess by Frances Hodgson Burnett, The Arabian Nights, edited by Padriac Colum, A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, The Complete Sherlock Holmes Treasury by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. This is so beat up. The City of Ember by Jeanne Dupau. That's how you say that. One for the Money by Janet Ivanovich. By Elisabetta Janone and adapted by Elizabeth Leanhard is the Witch series. Numbers 14 and 15, Worlds Apart and The Courage to Choose. Jumper by Stephen Gold. Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. The Complete Fairy Tales by the Brothers Grimm. Books 4 through 7 of the Anita Blake Vampire Hunter series by Laurel K. Hamilton. Bloody Bones, The Killing Dance, The Lunatic Cafe, and Burnt Offerings, The Princess and the Hound by Met Ivy Harrison. Now I have the entirety of the Wheel of Time series by Robert Jordan, and I've only read the first two. So I haven't read The Great Hunt, The Dragon Reborn, The Shadow Rising, The Eyes of Heaven, Lord of Chaos, A Crown of Swords, The Path of Daggers, Winter's Heart, Crossroads of Twilight, Knife of Dreams, and then with Brandon Sanderson are the last three, The Gathering Storm, Towers of Midnight, and A Memory of Light. I have five books by Mercedes Lackey in her Valdemar universe, Oathbreakers, Winds of Fury, Owl Flight, Crossroads, and Moving Targets. Of the Guardians of Gahul books that I own, I have two I haven't read by different authors. By Catherine Lasky, the author of the majority of the series, I have The Golden Tree, number 12. And by Catherine Huang Knight, I have a guidebook to The Great Tree. I have a whole bunch of born books, and I've only read the first one. So by Robert Ludlum in the original trilogy, I haven't read The Born Supremacy, the Born Ultimatum, and then all the ones after that are by Eric Van Lustbader, The Born Legacy, The Born Betrayal, The Born Deception, The Born Objective, The Born Dominion, and The Born Imperative. I really need to get on this series. That's a lot of them that I haven't read. Of the California Diaries by Anne M. Martin, we have Amalia Diary 2, Amalia Diary 3, and Ducky Diary 3. Dragon Song by Anne McCaffrey. Dragon Slayers Academy 1, The New Kid at School by Kate McMullen. Fairest by Marissa Meyer. Boy, do I need to read this book. Then we have the Anne of Green Gables series by Ella Montgomery, starting with Anne of Green Gables, Anne of Avonlea, Anne of the Island, and Anne of Windy Poplars. No clue what that title's about. Fable Haven by Brandon Mole. And then by Tamora Pierce, Melting Stones, Mastiff, and Young Warriors, which was edited by her, not necessarily written by her. This is an anthology. The Complete Works of William Shakespeare, Volumes 1 and 2, Falling Up by Shel Silverstein, and The Fall of Arthur by J.R.R. Tolkien. 
Star Trek Into Darkness by Alan Dean Foster. Moving into Star Wars, there is no real order to this. Shadows of the Empire by Steve Perry. Tales from Jabba's Palace, an anthology by Kevin J. Anderson. The Courtship of Princess Leia by Dave Wolverton. Darth Plagueis by James Lucino. Revenge of the Sith by Patricia C. Rind. Rebel Force, Target by Alex Wheeler. By Jude Watson, Jedi Quest, The False Peace, and Jedi Apprentice, The Ties That Bind. The Lost Tribe of the Sith, The Collected Stories by John Jackson Miller. Star Wars, Book One, The Glove of Darth Vader, The Lost City of the Jedi, and Zorba, The Hut's Revenge by Paul and Hollis Davids. Dark Saber by Kevin J. Anderson. The Clone Wars by Karen Travis. The Shattering by Christy Golden. Moving into my giant books, we have Charmed, The Book of Three by Diana G. Gallinger and Paul Ruditis. The Anxiety and Phobia Workbook by Edmund J. Bourne, Ph.D. Ireland, It's Myth and Legends by Kay Retzlaff. The Secrets of Scotland by Dennis Hardley. Wicked, The Grimmery by David Cote. Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne Jones. By Carrie Jones. Captivate and Endure by Calling Hook, Tiger's Quest, Tiger's Voyage, Tiger's Destiny. All right, that is everything that I own that I haven't read. And boy, is that a pile of shame. That is just too, too many books. It's 95 in total. That's, that's, no. And those last little ones that I pulled out, like the Howl's Moving Castle and them, they stay in my closet because I don't have the room for them on my shelves. I, oh, it's bad. It's it's bad. I need to stop buying books I haven't read and get books that I, that I like, that I've read. I have hundreds and hundreds of books that I've read that I don't own and I want to own. And, ah! All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to see more every Friday's a book review. So stay tuned for that. Good luck with your reading and hopefully your TBR pile that you have in your house is a lot smaller than mine. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye! Where's my watch? Where did that go? What did I do with my watch? Oh well! <laughs> Wait, did I finish reading this? Nope, I'm in the middle of it. <laughs> anyway, let's kick things up. Kick things up? That makes no sense. By Hidamori, Hidanori. By Kusaka Takahashi. By Kazuki Takahashi. Not Kusaka, that's the... Anyway, Mansfield Park. That was my mother sneezing. In my first version, I said Frank L. Baum. It's Al Frank Baum. I really need to get on this. That's not first. This is first. Never mind. The Complete Sherlock Holmes by Arthur Conan Doyle. I think I slurred that. Let's say that again. The Complete Sherlock Holmes collection. Treasury. Treasury! <laughs> The complete <laughs> can't do this. The complete Sherlock Holmes Treasury by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. There we go. The complete works of the Brothers Grimm. That's not what it says. The complete fairy tales. Books four through seven of Anita Blake Vampire Hunter by Laurel K. Hamilton. I forgot that her name. <laughs> Let's do that again. Books four through seven. Lunatic Cafe. There's a the in front of that lore. These books are huge. Oh my gosh, it's hurting my hand. Dragon Song by Anne M. No. Dragon Song by Anne. Come on. No, that's after me. By Paul and Hollis Davis. Davids. I did that wrong. I did that wrong again. By Edmund Jean. Tiger's Quest. 